Wedding Bell Blues, and then, you know, uh, they'd mix it up. I mean, Cannibal Adderley had hit records with Mercy Mercy and all that. But nowadays, it's not even, it's not top 40. It's uh, R&B top 40. It's uh, adult okay. top 40. It's Americana top 40. It's like, you know, if you go to iTunes, you'll look at all the different charts, and they've got a million different subdivisions. Well, you've got to know, most of us people in here are jazz, yeah. Do you know that there are divisions in jazz and very heavily contested divisions in jazz? Yeah. Smooth. Smooth jazz. Yeah. Okay. I used to go to something called, I'm sure Kim went to it too, the uh, jazz convention in New York City. And at the time, I was just transitioning from smooth jazz to regular jazz. And I knew all the smooth jazz guys. I'm still friends with them. I, I did a, David Benoit produced some albums on me. And I worked with Boney James and I worked with uh, 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 Joe Sample. I worked with a lot of them. And you'd mention any of those guys, and they'd laugh. Mm -hmm. They, re I remember one guy said, "Well, what about Boney James?" They all look like Boney James. <laughs> well, Boney James was signed to Warner Brothers, sold millions of records, you know, and is a very good sax player. But he happened to play smooth jazz. Mm -hmm. So you've got to know that because you've got to make sure if you're doing a jazz record, you can't suddenly be doing smooth jazz on it. And what's gonna, sh you know, you can't suddenly put a, a, a an R and B song on it. Or you can't suddenly put on a song that has uh, a lot of synthesizers on it, or maybe uh, of, uh, of drum set, drums that are not real. Jazz is a very organic radio. They, they, they listen to it. Every genre has its rules. And it's very, you know, you got to know what those rules are. And if you break them, you're not going to get much airplay. Okay. And Kenny James, uh, Kenny G is another. Yeah, wow. Kenny G is like was probably the biggest smooth yeah. jazz, and he's like you know a joke to most That's jazz right. music. I mean, he's a joke who's literally you know he was one of the first investors of Starbucks. Yeah. So right. He's literally he's got laughing all, all the way. Down. Down. Yeah, he's got hundreds of millions of dollars. So he's actually a very good musician. He's actually a very good musician from Seattle, but uh, he has another name then. You know, yeah. But, uh, he had an occasion where he just alienated.